Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking you through uh, AI Prompt Studio, which is an application that I've built uh, pretty much in one shot using V0. My dad was really trying to figure out how to use the new Gemini image and model inside of uh, Gemini's chatbot, right? Uh, specifically, this one. It's it, I've, it's built into Two Zero Flash, and he wanted to be able to generate a prompt quickly that he could just copy and paste in, and it would generate the image for him. So he'd kind of used Claude to help him figure out what a front end might look like, what the logic around an application like this might look like. And he was like, look, Viraj, um, I need you to build this for me. I was like, great, okay, we're gonna put this, put my skills to the test. Someone's actually asked me to build something for them. Let's do it. Let's go for it, aside the ethical shopper. Um, the first port of call for me was always cursor as a starting point. Like let's mock up a, a really great a functional application inside of cursor really quickly. Um, for some reason, I just couldn't. And so I had to rethink my options. Um, I usually start most of my builds in V0, primarily because I want that front end experience. I want that incredible front end experience. And today I was like, you know what? Let's just build the damn thing in here. Cause I can, the problem that I was having was that I'd be able to build it, but I couldn't deploy it to the Vercel hosting platform. For some reason, it just wasn't working and I couldn't figure out the error. I was getting a 404. I was asking Cursor to help me out. I was looking through the documentation, couldn't figure out what the problem was. Um, and I really wanted to be able to share it with him, not just as as him come to the office and check it out, but him use it on his own phone, on his own laptop, and he can then use it to his heart's content and then just copy and paste in the image models. So what do we have here? We've got a really lovely UX that originally didn't start like this, started uh, a little bit more black and white without any of these fancy colors that rotate on a color wheel. Um, and the idea of this application is that it helps you build images, text to image images really quickly using drop down menus as a way of like figuring out what is the prompt that you're trying to create? What is the image that you're trying to create? So instead of having the conversational format that I'm a big fan on, he wanted something with drop down menus um, because he felt that his he would think in that way. I thought, okay, great, let's start there. So we generated a bunch of different drop downs, as you can see here. Um, and if we click on advanced, we actually get more when we click on advanced compared to beginner. Only in the technical. Um, and that allows us to really dial in the prompt to what we want. So if we just wanted to randomize this, right, what would that look like? So if I click randomize, it goes and I then go and generate prompt. And that's like a really, it's, always, it's a very old school way of building stuff. Um, <laughs> I thought, let's add an auto generate button. Um, and it came up with this great UX. I'm kidding, I didn't add that in. I'm just gonna tell people I added that in. <laughs> it's, uh, it came up with that great idea when I asked V0 about I want a modern UX. What are the, some of the updates I can make to the application? It suggested an auto-generate function. So now if I press reset and I press randomize, it goes and crafts the prompt automatically that I then can copy and paste. I can go into Gemini. I can ask Gemini and I can say, make me this. I actually didn't, it doesn't say make me this. It just says middle-aged non-binary Asian person standing with a smiling expression, wearing casual clothes, close up running in an urban setting during the night. Okay, so it can't create this due to one of the parameters, one of the variables. So we're probably gonna change one or two bits. Let's take out the black and white filter. Uh, let's keep the centered composition. Let's take out the non-binary. Let's keep the Asian person. Uh, and let's go running clothing. And let's see what happens. I think this is a really lovely use case if it was a Chrome extension. And maybe that's something that we can further build out. But for the time being, this allows you to quickly make really useful prompts that produce very realistic images. Like, look at that. Look at that. That is incredible. Gemini has killed it with their new model, uh, the Imogen model, and 
it's probably my favorite one at the moment, to be honest with you, because it creates hyper-realistic images. You cannot, I can't tell the difference in, in some of them. If I took that photo, I don't think I could tell the difference, to be honest with you. Yeah, it's pretty insane. Um, but V0 allowed me to get there. And I'm, I, I've never been a fan of trying to prompt it because I was always quite scared of messing up the code and then not being, a, being able to understand or edit it the way that Cursor enables me to. But this was able to really create something wonderful and, and useful really fast. And then I can deploy it to the web, which is what you're looking at here. So this is live. I'm, I'll share the link in the image in the description below. And I'd love you to use it and give me some feedback on what are some other prompts and presets you might like um, and some of the other features that you think would be good for this application and useful for this application. Um, I'd love to build out a larger studio of, of prompts like this because I think that prompt engineering isn't something that we're going to just lose in the next couple of years with AI. I think it's going to become incredibly important. My intuition is that prompting is going to allow us to deeply understand the applications that we're building. And yeah, have a play. Let me know your thoughts. Um, I'm looking forward to hearing from you. A little bit of a, a sneak peek though. I wanted to compare V0 to Lovable and what Lovable could create in within their free versions. I haven't paid for either of these. This was made during the, in the free version. And Lovable also created something quite amazing. And if we just, it's, I think it's firing up the sandbox. Uh, if we refresh this page, here we go. Again, like as close to a one shot as possible, um, it was be able to create something incredible. This is five prompts. That's it. Um, and it's created something similar. I did give it a reference image um, and it did build some weird links up here that I've now changed, but it does the same thing. I'm able to generate a prompt. Uh, if we click randomize, uh, generate prompt, it's able to generate a prompt really quickly. I can copy and paste that prompt in and it works. Uh, this is incredible for me. Um, I think some really useful features on top of this would be a real-time in image generation. And also possibly let's throw in some AI that helps us dial in the thing that we want to create. I think that that's the problem is with Gemini is that you start with nothing. It does, there is no, there's no probing questions. There's no context of what it is that you're trying to create, especially in just this chatbot format. And I think there's a better way of doing this. Um, I haven't tried Firefly, but possibly that might be useful. I hope you found this, this cool. Uh, please check it out. Please try it out. And if you want new features, I'll build them or I'll, I'll find a full stack developer to help me build them.